All right, listen up, metal fans. I just purchased a reissue that you might want to avoid. Coming right up. Okay, so the other day um, on Amazon, I noticed that there was a, a reissue of Violence and Force by Exciter. Now, Violence and Force by Exciter. Um, it was the first album by Exciter that I discovered back in the 80s when it first came out. Um, I wasn't aware of the first one. So this album holds a lot of key memories with me. It was one of the first early, uh, really heavier thrash bands that I got into. Quickly purchased the first album, and of course the catalog after that followed. Um, so a couple years ago, I don't know, last year I bought the first album on splatter vinyl. So I'm like, oh cool, they're reissuing the stuff on vinyl. So when Violence and Force was listed as coming out at the end of June, I jumped on it. Price was right, it was like 17 bucks. I'm like, yeah, okay, I'll grab it. It didn't list as being color or anything, a color vinyl like the first album. Didn't think anything of it. Bought it, came in the mail yesterday, and I gotta say, I'm not opening it. I'm probably, I'm at this point already initiated the return with Amazon. Um, because I don't know, a lot of things about this scream bootleg or not official to me. First off, the cover art is atrocious. Before I show it to you. Um, it looks to me like either somebody took a thumbnail image and blew it up. Which gives it a lot of pixelization. But maybe not that. They took a scan of it from somewhere else. And then added a Instagram type filter, which pixelates it slash makes it the it just makes the it makes it look bad. It's too dark, kind of oversaturated. Anyway, let me show it to you. It's 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 pretty bad. <laughs> if you can see from this um, how bad it is, let me see if you can see see how the hands are. You can see it. It looks like the. You know the um, I forget the word for photo when it's it just it's not right. Um, the imp, you know the the logo is really dark. You can barely make out the details on the arm on there. It's got all of this weird, you know. It just looks like a bad a bad Instagram type filter, you know, all over it. Even this is kind of blurry. Um, I wrote. Mega Force Records. Oh, here's the other thing. So, okay, so it's got the Mega Force logo. Looks legit. Does have this sticker here. Made in the Czech Republic. Now, that could be the manufacturing plant. I don't know. I've never seen that manufacturing plant type sticker. Usually, when you see that, it says something like, you know, France or made in whatever. I don't know if there's a, a manufacturing plant in the Czech Republic, but the cover looks odd. Um, I wrote Megaforce Records a few minutes ago on Facebook and they just responded. I told them about what stinks about this and it says that sucks. Send us a UPC of the product to make sure that they are from us. So I'm going to reply to them in a minute. I mentioned this on one of the Facebook groups and somebody else said that they have an order of the, a copy of this coming in the mail but they've already heard bad reviews on how bad it sounds. The other thing that really stinks about this is this is a 10 song LP when it first came out. Now it's a nine song LP so they took the fifth song on the beat on side a and removed it and then bumped number one up to there and put four on the back now that's sort of acceptable in the sense that the song evil center was included on the reissue of their first album so as a bonus track evil center is right there now my understanding, it was uh, recorded in November of 83. And this album, and I see it says 2004, which is obviously not the right date. This came out around that time. So I don't know, even on the CD, when they remastered the CDs and released these a few years back, same thing. They took Evil Center off, put it on the first album. So I'm, my thoughts are it was actually recorded more closer. To, I, I forget the story. Recorded more closer to the first album release wasn't included on the first album and then got put on the second so when they reissued and remastered it they put it on the first uh it was a bonus track on the cds it's a bonus track on this album so we got the song i'm fine with that we got the song sort of i'm fine with that i want the original lineup of this though um 
The other thing that concerns me is, okay, the CDs were remastered and it became a nine song CD. Is this sourced from a remastered CD or an analog? You would think if they had the analog tapes from the original album of this, they would put all the 10 tracks. I don't know, speculation. All I know is this is ugly. This is a nice rendition of the first album. This is what it looked like. It's great. It's on splatter vinyl. This doesn't list as being in any kind of special vinyl. You would think if they're going to splatter vinyl the first, they would do something special with the second. I don't know. I'm going to respond to the record label and let's see what they say. Um, so I'll report on that in a minute. Anyway, I don't know. If you bought on if you bought this and you've opened it and you've listened to it, let me know. If you're gonna if you know anything else about it, let me know. All I know is I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the fact that it's incomplete. I went on Discogs real quick and I bought another edition. Also from the Czech Republic, came out in the 90s where the artwork looks beautiful and everything seems fine. And the price was actually well with shipping a little more, but actually was a little cheaper. So I am uh fine with that um, so let's see what else came in recently now then this uh, in today the other day um, I was chit-chatting with uh, Scott Waters on Facebook and about something and he said hey I don't know if you're looking for this it only pops up occasionally at a decent price and so I want to let you know about it and I'm like yeah I'll bite because um, I like the band and I don't I have a digital copy of that album that I acquired years ago back in the day never owned the vinyl um so sure you know why not so i jumped on it it was a decent price version of a, sec a sloppy seconds by tt quick um it's still in the shrink wrap though it was open um i guess when i read it i thought it just said still in the shrink so i thought it's going to be brand new from that long ago is it going to be warped but it's not it was it, it came out of it and and but i mean the vinyl itself looks like it hadn't been played so more than thrilled you can see when they bought it from tower Records, they only paid eight bucks for it i paid a little more than eight dollars for it all these years later but um was excited to have this plus the copy that i've usually seen because i haven't had the vinyl before um i guess when they reissued it later on digital or cd whatever it had a different colored picture on it so i was like oh this is neat you know just it's not one that i was as familiar with uh and so then while i was on a tt quick kick tt quick kick um I, uh, I looked on on uh, Discogs and grabbed the album uh, Medal of Honor, um, and it was only I got it like five dollars, so I was thrilled. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, I do still want to get the first album, which is the only one that I ever owned back in the day. Uh, and this one also came in the shrink. It does have a sticker on it, and it has a you know the old department sticker on there too. But again, the record itself looked to be in pristine near mint condition so for the price i think this might have been one where he wanted a few dollars more and i he made an offer i've done that a couple times recently i got something else coming in where i made an offer for a couple dollars cheaper and they took it so um so my tg quick just doubled as far as my vinyl collection so <laughs> two um all right these next two uh oh okay let me throw this in there you know how people put in older sorry steve i'm not going to use the word that you ate but you know what they would consider worthless records in the sense that it's not something they're going to sell they put them in a stiffeners when they send you albums well the tt quick had one of those in it um <laughs> okay at first i'm like i don't have a clue who this is <laughs> england dan and john ford coley I just thought, wow, these guys look like they're, I mean, it's from the 70s. I said, look, these guys look like they're two guys from, uh, that used to make those funny kind of movies back in the days. Look at them mustaches. Anyway, when I pulled it up, though, <laughs> on Discogs, uh, uh, it turns out that I'm very familiar with at least, you know, Nights Are Forever Without You. Big song in the 70s. I was very familiar with that song. Um, so, 
this is a 70s, you know, singer-songwriter type of an album. I might end up really liking this. I'm going to throw this on because I do... Uh, you have to go in there and look at the look at that video. You probably know it. Not so forever without you. Anyway, um, the cover is in great condition. This this is a cool thing for an old album like this. Covers in great condition. Not a no ring wear. Maybe just on the back. There's a little bit there. And the album. I'm thinking it has never been played. Never been played. Uh, the, the the label on there is a little bubbled. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little bubbled on the second side, but the record itself. I swear it's never been played. It is pristine. Anyway, free album. Love it. I'll give it a listen. I think I'm going to like it because I love that sound from the 70s of those bands, the AM rock from the 70s and things along that line. All right, these next two, Amazon buys. Again, I still, as I've mentioned in video after video, I have a lot of things on Amazon wish list. I mark them with the program camelcamelcamel.com. And I say, when this album drops below X price, alert me. And these two happen. Now, normally I set my record prices at 15 because Amazon does that. It'll be a $30 album, but after a month or two on the records, if it doesn't, uh, you know, if they've still got a big inventory, boom, they'll drop it for a couple days or until the inventory drops, they drop it for 15 bucks. And that's what happened in this case. This one, not so much, but because of having Wasp last time, I was on a Wasp kick. This one dropped to 17 and I thought, I'm going to grab it. Headless Children. Um, it is the remaster, the one, you know, the, the, the newer remasters, um, Madfish, uh, early two, 2012 ish, something around there. Um, anyway, so just another notch in my belt for a uh, filling in the wasp. And again, you know, watching for them to drop at least some of those under $20, but others under, 10, under $15. This one dropped down to $10. I could not believe it. Could not. This is the new last last year I guess reissue of Montrose Paper Money the first two Montrose albums with Sammy Hagar were reissued on double vinyl remastered um, and this one dropped down or this person was selling it uh, for ten dollars it said like new condition but well, when I got it it was in shrink wrap it was brand new but I can see what they mean in the sense that okay it's got a crease right here. You may not be able to see that. Yeah, you can see that right there. See, it's got a crease. It kind of goes up to there. Um, and you can see it on the back. Plus, they have struck through the barcode there with the Sharpie. That was done. The shrink wrap was there, but they, they kind of did it a couple times where it broke the shrink wrap just on that little mark. I don't care. $10 for one of the top two Montrose albums that I want to get with Sammy Hagar. Um... And the second album is a live album of unreleased material. So you got the whole album on one disc, and then you've got a radio broadcast uh, that's, according to this, has never been released. A uh, It says, includes previously unreleased live K-San radio sessions from 1974. Anyway, great, great, great stuff. That is it. Um, I just saw as I was recording here that Amazon uh, dropped something off. No music, though. It's some sleeves. And something else that I will show you in the next video. Thanks a lot. Be safe, be well, and be prepared. Rock on.